Here's my die cast collection as of January 8th, 2011. <coughs> this section goes to the 4100 Tower Curry. With last CC cylinders. It also has a full buffing jib in it. basic crawler crane have the extension kit for it that's the rest of the extensions I have one extra extension somehow you know the extension kit only comes with two 40 foot sections and a 10 foot section and it's got two 40 foot sections and a 10 foot section in it right now. I don't have those sections in it because I can't find the pendant lines for it. GMK 7550 with YCC cylinders. with extension kit. ECH 40 tower crane that I repainted. You can see the two tower cranes comparison. Inside that neighborhood right now, investigators are inside 
the suspect's home. As you can imagine, there's a, a lot of information that they can hope to learn as to this person's motivation through what is inside that home. Yeah. I've been talking to witnesses all day, Andrew, and I know you have, and I keep hearing this one story that we just heard from the doctor who's so informative about the police head. The reports of this one person running away from the scene just before it began. We keep hearing reports that they are looking for the possibility of a second suspect, and yet cops tell us they believe he acted alone. Is that the latest word from police that he's alone? The size comparison of the 5500 and LR1280 There's more 20 foot extension in the jib. We appreciate you very much. Thank you. We're getting more information on the suspect in this attack according to a number of his internet posts. And there's the rest of the extensions for it. To the, sus or attributed the white boom goes to the GMK 7550. I can't wait to hear Pepper Nick Police pronounce his name. It's L O U G H N E R Lochner or Lochner. He seemed to be upset about literacy in here in his Arizona district, among other things. He's upset about literacy, yet if it's one of his strong points, he's not too strong. Here's some of his rantings. Here are some of his rantings. Right now, it's about six of feet tall. Of citizens in the United States of America have never read with the extensions. The United States it of America reaches 12 feet. You don't have to accept the federal law. Nonetheless, we need the United States of America's Constitution to apprehend, apprehend all of the current treasonous laws. You're literate, listener. End quote. Wow. Rick Bullbounds in our newsroom in New York. Rick it's a 187, 187 scale tower crane. A couple of new pictures just to repaint it. From the Associated Press, these are pictures that the wire agency is telling us are of the shooter. Uh, so we'll put them up. And we're also learning uh, that Jared Walker had a criminal record, uh, some minor uh, problems in his past. We'll take a look at him playing. I guess a saxophone maybe as part of a school band or something. We don't know, uh, but he was arrested in 2000. My newest edition I got for Christmas. Uh, and some other other minor infractions. And so we're learning a little bit about that. And of course, uh, we're also... Got the drill. Miss Main left. And we've been reading word for word the ramblings of this guy, and we can read it over and over again, Chef. We will never understand it. He comes across as a young man, very concerned about the federal government, but not in the way that some people who are concerned about the government are concerned. Uh, he's worried about dreams and brainwashing and grammar and literacy and currency uh, in YouTube videos and on social networking sites like MySpace and Twitter. He writes and weaves a story that really is impossible to make sense of as we take a look at some of this. Hello, my name is Jared Lee Lochner. He posts back in December, uh, just about three weeks or so ago. This video, he goes on, is my introduction to you. My favorite activity, conscious dreaming. The greatest inspiration for my political business, information. Some of you don't dream, sadly, he goes on. Secondly, my hope is for you to be literate. If you are literate in English grammar, then you comprehend English grammar. The majority of people who reside in District 8, which happens to have been his local congressional district and that of the congresswoman, are illiterate, hilarious, he says. I don't control your English grammar structure, but you control your English grammar structure. And in conclusion, my ambition is for informing illiterate dreamers about a new currency in a few days, you know unconscious dreaming. Thank you. So you begin to get a sense there of the things that were going on inside the head of this young man uh, who has other YouTube postings as well. He claimed to have been a U.S. military recruit at MSPS in Phoenix. MSPS, by the way, stands for Military Entrance Processing Station. That's where uh, the military determines whether someone who wants to enlist is, is suitable for the armed forces. We do not have any record that he made his way through that processing center. But again, uh, a lot of very strange goings on inside this young man's head. Uh, and we'll be learning more about it in the coming days. Yeah, I'm guessing we'll learn a lot more about it. We're told about that. You know, for those of you who are watching and thinking, what, are, what is this black screen with these tiny little words up here? That's, that's what he had on YouTube. 
I mean, they were not pictures of him. There wasn't somebody reading something. It was just words. Some, mostly just white on black words on the screen. Some of them had music going in the, in the background. Some of it was kind of, I don't know, tricky music. Some of it was sort of melodic, and whatever. It was just, just nonsensical junk, frankly. I mean, clearly he thinks or he thought, you can tell this from going over a number of his postings, that he did something called conscious dreaming. And he thought, I guess you could just sort of check out your dreaming, daydreaming, I don't know. But he said he did that, and that when he did it, it was like sleeping for him. One of the 20 foot section on the triple five, one of the connections broke. I gotta get another one. There's my LR 1750. Got YCC walkways. Brass pulley kit. And uh, two boom extension kits. So it's four 40 foot sections. CC8 CC8800 crawl cream No accessories on it yet but I'll get the jib and walkways and brass pulleys sometime this year Access ladders and this new track set. It's got the pin in it that holds the pads together. This one doesn't. I'm still waiting on that one to come. CCM triple five, Mantoic triple five. Has the Derrick kit, which comes with two forty foot extensions. She was with us in Congress 
Here's a bit of the interview with Bill Emmer on their view of the newsroom. And last but not least, the LTM 11200. I'll be getting the YCC cylinders for it sometime this year. And there's, I've heard about the buffer jib coming out sometime this year. So if it comes out, I'll get that too. That's my collection as of now. Won't be buying any new models for a couple months as I'm saving up for the Manitowoc 31,000. Should be out in April. So, I don't know if I'll make any more stop motions or not until I get the 31,000. And if you have any questions about the models or want a review of one that I haven't done yet, just let me know and I'll try and get it up as soon as I can. Models are taking up my room, and taking over. Here you go. 